Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I'm actually off today. Today is Friday, and um, Meg and I are actually both off. We actually got to head back down to the coast where we used to live, and I just I still have a few things there I got to pick up and bring back here. So we decided to take the day and just get it finally done, get everything we need. So we're driving the Dodge down there, and this is a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. And those of you that own this vehicle or have been in one of these vehicles, you know this problem. And it's the cup holder. Yes, it's a problem. The cup holders they designed in these things are terrible. Absolutely terrible. And there's only two. This has got the, um, the two bucket seats and then the center seat. So you can have like a third person with a fold down lid. This is a column shift. Actually, I don't think these things came other than column shift, but whatever. Let me show you something here real quick. I'm going to grab just the general run-of-the-mill empty fountain drink cup. Here's the cup holder. You see the problem with that, right? As soon as you go to accelerate, these things fall. You go to make a turn, these things fall. You know, yeah, what is that really is not good, especially if you have a tall cup. Now, me personally, I have a lot of those, what do they call them, Yeti style cups. They're similar in design to this, but they're made out of that like brushed aluminum or brushed steel, whatever it is, stainless steel. Those things, because of the weight of them, they, they fall over super easy. So what's the repair? What can you do to fix this? I don't know. I've actually gone online and I've... I've tried to see what the repair is. Does somebody make like an insert that you could put in here? Something. I, I didn't find anything. I went to the forums, everything else. I came up with an idea last night. I'm going to see if it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but at least I could try it. So let's see what happens. Now this thing, this lid, if you look how thick it is, see that? I'm thinking if I could get down further in here, Maybe I could do something. So, inside there's a liner. See that? That's like a rubber liner to like hold your cups from moving. Yeah, that's a really good, fantastic old idea. So there, I pulled that out. Crusty, yucky, ickiness. And I got this. My trusty three inch hole saw. I'm just gonna drill through the outer layer. I wanna see if the cup will hold in there nicely. I'm just gonna try to center it. I'm not going nuts trying to figure anything out here. All right, so let's see what happens. I'm only gonna go through the first portion of this. I don't wanna go through the second portion, obviously. I don't know what's behind this. I have the slightest idea, but I'm gonna find out. I'm doing this as gentle as possible. <laughs> I have to set the speed higher. I could absolutely destroy this. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. All right. So I cut through, and there is some kind of a brace in there. Now it smells a little bit like burnt plastic in the truck. I'm sure Meg is going to be happy because I got all of those plastic shards laying there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut through this piece here. If I can, I might not be able to because now there's a hole there. Oh, yeah, I was able to. Oh, look at that. I'll dig that other piece out later. I'm not too concerned at the moment. Look how nice the cup sits now. It actually folds inside. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do the other side now. Let me do that. I'm not gonna film doing it, but you know you know exactly what I'm about to do. And there we go. That hole is cut. Now that piece that was at the bottom is actually part of the spring that holds this. So I gotta come up with something, something to wedge underneath here to add resistance to this. Not a big deal. I don't care about it. I'm, I'm not that concerned. So that'll be good. No, let me just clean this up. I figured I was going to try that 
And I did look online, and I figured in case I broke it, I really was not that concerned. I can get a, another replacement, one of that entire lid, and get the whole thing for about 40 bucks uh, used on, like, uh, eBay or whatever. So I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll, I'll take a chance and possibly destroy the thing. So we'll see. All right, that's it. Just wanted to show you that, my little handy work this morning. So, all right, let me get uh, a little vacuum. Let me clean all this mess up. All right, guys, hope you're getting something out of my videos. If you are, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.